Look to the screen. Hey guys. All right, welcome to the uh, video here. They were gonna play some Greek for us. You got Kadita. And I think we're just gonna continue from where we drill off. Not no auto save. Now, if I'm remembering correctly, the next thing that I was supposed to do. <coughs> <coughs> Me, I've been sick lately. That's what you want. You ain't seen me in a few days. Sorry about that, guys. But anyway, um, the reason why you haven't seen me lately is because wait, what? What is this? Oh, okay. Anyway, reason why you seen me lately, I've been a little sick. And I just I wouldn't even get my body on into playing. And I was sick, I don't, all I could do is just sit there and watch TV. Um I'm still kind of sick to be honest with you, but you know, I kind I want to play, I want to do something. You no, know? I don't think it's nothing but a cold. It's an aggressive cold, though. It's trying to stay, you know, trying to stay with me. Um, anyway, man, um, yeah, I remember we were, we just finished talking, we just released a guy. And um, what should we do next? Hmm. Oh, we love it up. Okay. Didn't need both of these abilities. Okay, this is what I want to do, but this quest I want to do before I do this side quest. I want to do a little bit, I want to do a little bit of the main quest on um, Suffering of Constantine. Because if I remember correctly, depending on if you do this quest or not before Subnautica, you get different results. So you get a better result if you do the story quest first. So, meaning that we're gonna do the story quest first. Or at least a part of it. I do feel sick though, man. Oh. I feel like I don't feel like doing it. Oh, I'm sorry about the um that's the phone ringing. I kind of, I should probably should have shut the fuck up while it's phone ringing. Damn. I might try full on magic, dude. I might play the, I'm gonna play through the game on my own time one more time. With a full on magic deal, I think. Might be kind of fun. <coughs> Probably put a bunch of more mods in. You know, then play a full on magic deal. I ain't never did that yet. I started to do that for this playthrough, but I wanted to play something that I knew was really strong. You know, that I knew, you know, I kind of want to be more of a guy, kind of a guy, more than a playthrough. So I want to play something that I had absolute proof was really strong, you know. 
that I can eat, you can ease through extreme difficulty with. Pretty fine game. Yeah, it reminds me of um. It really reminds. Let me tell you what it reminds me of. It reminds me of this game that came out in 2017 on the um, PlayStation called Horizon Zero Dawn. It just reminds me of that game so much. It's basically is that game when you think about it. There's some true differences, but got some similarities as well. you think you are to defoil our ritual? One of those moin shakers, no doubt. Aiden, it is your duty to assure we are not interrupted. A thousand pardons, Tian. It is indeed one of those moin shakers. A moin shaker? Look at him more closely, Aiden. He is a Norman Naui. Present yourself and tell me why you interrupt our ceremony. My name is Desade. I have come looking for you to ask for your help. This man with you. He is one of the mind shakers. One who attempts to turn our village. I am not a mind shaker. A missionary. But I am indeed a priest of Teleme. And I assure you I have no intention of attempting to convert you. Really? Those who claim to belong to the Loit spend their time bothering us and here you are. I had no knowledge of their presence here. I am only here to accompany my young friend. Then, how can I help you? My cousin suffers from a terrible sickness, the Malakor. I do not know this sickness, but perhaps we call it by a different name. It turns the blood black and provokes terrible suffering. And alas, it is fatal in all cases. We've never seen the ailing touched by such a sickness. And I doubt I am able to heal your cousin. We are looking for a remedy, but urgently need to relieve his pain. Could you slow the progression of the sickness? Keep him from suffering? In that, I can help you. I know how to make one forget the pain, even the most severely wounded. But, Tiern, with all that is happening now, you cannot leave to visit this ill person. It is true. My village needs me now. Uh oh. I cannot leave. I must attend them. What is going on? Perhaps we can help you. Truly? You? Do they have a choice, Aiden? They do really seem to have need of me, don't they? Well, then tell us what we need to do. The situation has become unbearable. And it all started when these Moin Shakers began arriving. They wanted to convert everyone and take them to another place, turn them away from us. And of course, the village folk would not be persuaded, but the Moin Shakers remained. And it was also at that time the Tenland started to attack. It is not their way to do as such. There are many wounded, and recently many have gone missing. We must discover from where these monsters come. I can try and talk sense into the missionaries, perhaps with the help of Bishop Petrus. As for the attacks of the creatures, I will see what I can do, but I need more information. Our master hunter, or the families of the Taken, could most likely help you. Very well, I'll take care of it. Make preparations to accompany us. The days are burning like very thin candles. Do not worry. If you see to the concerns of my village, I will be most happy to accompany you. Let's go and see this master hunter. He should be able to tell us more about these attacks. All right. Are you it, master hunter? That's him. Good day. Are you the master hunter? Beor dear to Magre I am indeed one and the same person. What do you want of me? The Dornay Guard, Katasa, spoke to me about the animal attacks. 
Could you tell me more? The Ten Lands have been angered. They are very angry. The beasts have always lived here. But they only attack if we tread near their nest. Of late, they attack on sight. There have been many wounded, and some of our young have even disappeared. It may be that the Ten Lands killed them, but it is also possible they followed the missionaries. What can you tell me about the Tenlands? They are normally very peaceful creatures, very calm, but who defend their young with fury. During the attacks, I noticed that they were not all the same, not all from the same nest. What do you mean? That the other beasts don't come from here, but from other places, and that they are coming more and more often. Were there many victims? Many wounded. Thanks to the healing powers of the Domegad, they survived. But the attacks happen more and more often. And they come with greater fury. I try to chase them away. To destroy any nests that I found. But still, more of them come. And now our children disappear. Distress alone could kill our village. Can you tell me who they are? A young fisherman and a gatherer. You will find the sister of the woman and the brother of the man in the village. I will go and see them. All right. I must be going. I'm in need. I hear you. Isn't it odd that these creatures who are normally passive have become so aggressive? Yes. Yes. This has never happened in my lifetime. What do you know? Speak. Lives are at risk. I do not speak of things I am not sure of. The Renaic say, like you. Do not understand the bond we have with nature. Isn't it odd that these creatures who... Yes. What do you know? I do not... There are nine. I believe I can help you in your fight against the Tenlands. How would you advise me to go about it? You must destroy their nests. It's sad, but the only way to stop their numbers growing... There are most likely three around here. I can point you in the direction to one that I discovered. I would have taken care of it, but my village cannot spare my presence here. I must keep watch. I did not find the two others. Some in the village may know where to find them. And how would I go about destroying the nests? You must burn them and kill the dominant one. Or else they will build again. We see them especially at dawn. After that, we no longer see them. But be careful, Renaxi. The night belongs to the Tenlands. That is when they are most awake. Going out at night is very dangerous. I thank you for your advice. We shall go and destroy the nest come dawn. All right. I must be going. Katazak advised us to speak with the families of those missing. Perhaps they might know where the Tenlands have built their nests. Ah, you are the ones who saved me from Solas. Boy, oh. Wrong person. Go. That's a different quest, my bad.
Good day. I have been sent here by your Donegad. He asked me to help you. I hope he is right, and that you are not like the Moin Shakers. My sister has gone missing. <coughs> For that very reason that I am here. To attempt to find her, or to understand. Then I will tell you what I know. Your sister, what does she look like? She is a very beautiful young woman. Kind and sweet. I miss her so very much. Is she very careful? Does she know she should be wary of the beasts? Oh yes, she knows it very well. But she has been star-eyed of late. And the stars make you forget all caution. How long has she been missing? Two nights have gone by since. She told me that she was going to gather berries. It was early in the day, but she never returned. I called for her from the edge of the village, in vain, and the ten lands were roaming. Do you know where she usually goes picking? Certainly, in the clearing. We find a great many berries there. Is there anyone in the village that might want her harmed? No. No, everyone loves her. Maybe a little too much. Why do you say that? She is beautiful and young. The mine shakers took notice. And the boys of the village did as well. What do you think likely happened to her? She might have been attacked by the Tenlands. But it was early, and they come out mostly at night. You think it might have been something else? I hope. Even if it is a strange hope. Perhaps she was taken by the mine shakers. They were pestering her the other day. They behaved without respect. A boy intervened and chased them off. But do you think that they might have captured her outside of the village? That merits inspection. I must leave now. Right. So she hoping she get she hoping that she got taken by the mind shakers because or uh, Teleme or Otis Alunimus because if she was taken by the mind shakers that means she's still alive she was attacked by the she was attacked by the thing that means she's dead good day my name is Desar Day from the congregation I've been told that someone dear to you has disappeared. Yes, my little brother. He left to go fishing, like every day, and he did not return. Your Donegad asked me to help you. Any information you can give me would be very useful. This is true. I hope your words to be heartfelt. My insides are twisting in fear that my brother is lost. Can you describe your brother for me? He is young, rather tall and strong. The girls find him handsome. He is such a nice boy, but he is wild off the tether, and often his curiosity gets him in trouble. Can you tell me more precisely when he disappeared? Where and under what circumstances? It was two days past. I saw him leave to go fishing, as he was often to do. And you cannot remember anything out of the ordinary? No, he was full of joy, full of life. I am so worried about him. Did your brother have any enemies? No, I can't think of anyone who would plant strangleweeds in his garden. Perhaps a mutual rivalry. He didn't get along particularly well with the Master Hunter, but it was nothing serious. Perhaps the missionaries. He did get into a fight with them, but they surely wouldn't have taken him. That could be a lead. Was he close to anyone? He has been dreamy and more joyful than usual. Those are the signs of someone stricken with love. But he no longer wants to share secrets with me. He told me that he has grown beyond the shadow of his brother. And the birds in his branches are his. What do you think most likely happened to him? 
He could have come face to face with Tenlands. They've become angry of late, but he knew how to avoid them. He might have had a run-in with the Mind Shakers as well. He got into a fight with them a while back, because of a young girl in our village. You think the missionaries might have sought vengeance? I don't know, but he might have went to find them in their village. There's no good feelings towards them. I will go and see. Maybe they can tell me more. All right. I must be leaving. Okay. I need misses. There's one right here. have any news do you know where my sister is not yet but I tell me about the tenants about their attacks before I only very rarely came across the beasts we knew their nesting grounds and kept clear of them but now they are everywhere and they attack everyone they've even been known to come as close as the clearing where we pick berries very far from their favorite grounds. Do you know how to fight them? No, I am not a fighter. If you want such advice, ask the Master Hunter. Well, I will go and investigate this clearing. Perhaps they've built a nest near there. It is possible, because before there was never one near there. I must leave now. Okay, there's one over here. Go. Gotta go on this other side. There we go. Given the presence of tenlands in this clearing, there must be a nest not far from here. the dominant before destroying the nest. I think he's going to just stand there. And now we leave.
Not near the water. Oh, I teleported here. Hold up. The hunter told me that I would find a nest in this area. Very easy. So easy. It's kind of scary. I can't imagine another build being better. To be honest with you. It's just so easy. It's crazy. Where's the other, um... I need to talk to... Oh, let's teleport back here. Do I need to talk to somebody else? Not him. Maybe him. Well on all Manawi. Not yet. What can you tell us about the Tenmans? They are beasts that live near water. Rivers or coasts. In all our memories, only if you approach their nests do they anger and attack. But lately... Yes. Katazak told me they attack the villagers. Could you point in the direction of their nest? I know where to find one, but there are certainly more. My brother should not have left the village alone. But for a while now, he does not share my fears for him.
I must be leaving. Okay. Oh, it's up. Okay. They're gonna run this way. the fisherman's brother mentioned a nest must be close to here Ideal moment. I must kill the dominant before destroying the nest. The third nest is destroyed. The master hunter will no doubt be relieved to hear it. Here we go and walk on up there. This way. Oh yeah, this time. Got him. Very easy. He hit me once. <coughs> he did almost kill him with one hit, though. We'll admit that.
Basket full of berries and a trap full of fish, all of it scattered and half eaten by beasts. Our two lost souls were here together. They must have been attacked, or they wouldn't have left their takings. Let's search the area. Maybe we can find their trail. Go this way. But Cavern seems to be home to some creatures. Let's be wary. It could very well be the lair of that great Tenman the hunter spoke of. Oh. Uh, getting a little lost. Judging from his clothing, he was a missionary. The two others are more recent. A man and a woman. No doubt our missing couple. They were dragged here and devoured alive. What a tragic fate. Hilarious. Be especially prudent. Bringing the large white tenant inside this cave is terribly ferocious. Other beasts obey its orders. The whole plan depends on it, so try not to become another one of its victims. I cannot believe that these missionaries used such a ruse to achieve their goals. Two youths died because of them. Alas, some of my brothers and sisters are blinded by our mission to convert the natives. Believe me, this is as horrifying to me as it is to you. Yeah. Their families need to be informed. Hang on, man. I wonder if there's a way to keep them alive. I don't know. Who's this way? Alright, let's run back.
Well, on all Manawi, have you found my brother? I found him, but... I am truly sorry. Your brother is dead. Andevustile. May the Earth welcome him. I felt it. How did it come to pass? He knew every stone on our lands. It couldn't have been an accident. He had a liaison with a young girl from the village. They would meet in a clearing. They must have forgotten the hour. Night took them by surprise, and a tenman crossed their path. I found both of them in the cavern of the beast. How terrible. Why did he go to see the girl in secrecy? They could have... I must recover his body. To give it up to the earth, as is our custom. Where is it? With the body of the girl he loved. In a cavern, near the clearing. But it is a dangerous place. Other Tenmans might still be roaming there. Though I did kill quite a few. I have a duty owed to my little brother. Thank you, Onol Manawi. I will not forget this. I must be leaving. I wonder if it's a way they could have survived. Like, if I would have pit to do a certain quest. The reason why I want to play through this game one more time, because I feel like I'm still not sure what the best things I could pick is. Do you have any news? Do you know where my sister is? Yes. I'm truly very sorry. Oh no. Nah. Sir Tonsidag, please do not tell me that she is dead. I found her body in the lair of a great tenman. I feel like they can survive. But how could she Just have don't been know surprised how. by the beasts? She knew the danger. She went out to meet the young fisherman. The time must have flown by into the night. I am so sorry. We found them both dead. I must bring the body back to carry out the right. You should not go alone. I killed as many as I could, but it would be better to be prudent. I shall follow your counsel on Al Manawi. Two deaths are enough. Thank you. Thank you. I must leave now. But oh, woman, gonna make it move. I feel like they could survive, man. I, they eat me up too, man. But oh well. Sometimes you, you win some, you lose some, you know. Good day. I am the legate of the congregation <coughs> of merchants on this isle. Might I ask you a few questions? Of course. Our allies from the continent are always welcome among us. What do you want to know? Could you tell me what your mission here is? We must return these lost souls to the light and guide them so that they might receive the revelation. We have constructed the perfect village, Eden where they might discover peace in this protected paradise they can receive divine teachings and join the illuminated chosen people have you heard about the tenman attacks on the village i didn't know those creatures were given that name but yes we have heard talk about the attacks we offered them our help and some comfort in their most difficult hour in exchange for some inspiring conversation, I suppose. Of course. These horrible beasts have most certainly been sent by the demons of this isle. 
To chase only a few away would be of no use. If they truly desire peace, they must see the light. You haven't been victim of these attacks. On occasion, yes. But thanks to the Illuminated, we were able to chase them away with little effort. You seem to assert that the attacks of these tendons is somehow linked to the demons on the Isle. Whereas these are creatures that the natives have always known. They nest beside them. These are familiar beasts, but hasn't anyone informed you that their patterns have changed? These creatures have been riled up by the demons of the island, who have come to realize we are near victory. Sending them against these poor people, they maintain them in a state of fear and obedience to their shaman healer. There is only one way to truly make these attacks cease, my child. Convert these people. Defeat these demons. The Donegad wishes your departure. You disturb the tranquility of their village. And you expect us to obey him? Haven't you understood that he is a servant of the island's demons? To leave would be to abandon the simplistic souls of all those that follow him, ceding victory to the demons. No, my child. We will not leave this place until the light shines over every dwelling. I fought against a great number of Tenlands. One that was quite spectacular. A great white beast. Its mere presence seemed to aggravate the others, attract them, and make them aggressive. A beast sent by the demons, no doubt. But... Stop taking me for a fool. We also found a journal outlining your vicious plan. I have only one piece of advice to give you. Leave, and quickly. Or the Mother Cardinal will learn every detail of your manipulations. We shall be leaving as soon as possible. But let it be known that you are abandoning all of these poor souls to damnation. Perhaps you should be more concerned about your own soul, sister. People have died by your fault. The nests are destroyed. And with the death of the White Tenlin, the attacks should cease. We were even able to convince the missionaries to leave. Kadazak should be willing to follow us now. Let us go and find him. All right. Now, let's get the hell home. Out to here. Hey. face that you were victorious indeed i put the white tenlin down who was enraging his kind and destroyed their nests the attacks should no longer be troubling you as for the missionaries we were able to convince them to leave but they were not ready to admit their involvement in the attacks that harmed you and so they were in some way responsible 
I had my suspicions, but I could not see their reasons. They brought a particularly large beast here that attracted and enraged the others. This is what provoked the attacks and brought on our despair. These people have blood on their hands. In the end, we found the missing young ones. Alas, too late. Devoured by wild beasts. And the worst tear end. You did well on our Manawi. Now they should be able to find the rest. Will you accompany me now? My cousin needs your help. I have packed what is needed. I am ready to journey with you. Yay! the death of me I can't control my body it's like being a stranger in a marionette set ablaze consumed by a smoldering fire the moment's growing near isn't it am I about to surrender my ghost to the reaper of souls <laughs> You flutter in just when you're needed, cousin. As always. Who are you? Your hand is cold as ice. Your cousin is burning. That is such a relief. Let me present Katasak Konstantin. He is the greatest healer on the island. He will help you. Please, stay. I am here for you, Rnaixe, and I will not leave until I found a way to ease your pain and suffering. Fill your mind with the patience of the ocean. I know not how much time I will need. I've never seen such a sickness. The spirits of your lands must be quite horrendous to cast down such evils upon the peoples that live there. Thank you. Thank you, cousin. I don't want to imagine my plight without your intervention. All right. That was a story quest. And that quest is completed. So, I'm going to save.